we are going to discuss discover attack have any version whether it is going to be in a form of a check which is the most common one a piece moves the king gets in check and something else can get captured or a piece moves and then suddenly some two pieces are under attack for example okay just very simple position or reasonably simple position white is to play i will see i want to see a few hands and then we can discuss this one How about you? Bishop e5 check. check. And then, once the bi either the king moves, blocks, or the bishop being captured, what will you play? Excellent. Now I have a question, a tricky one for everyone. Let's assume Black Queen is here. What shall we play now? Is yes? You should put the queen at d four. Queen d four. Okay, black will just move his king. It's a move. Didn't gain anything. Didn't lose anything. An okay move. Yes. Will we play the same move? Bishop e five. Ah, but I said that I'm tricky a bit. If we will go bishop e five. No, it's a check. But the knight, right? Why, why, why did we say, you said, and I quote, <laughs> because after the knight capture, what will black play after queen takes queen? Right? The knight is going to be protecting the queen in that version. So it's very nice that you did see that. For example, what, what would it be like? Let's say that I will just tiny bit change the position. White actually has one move to get some, one move to be okay in this position. Actually, if I will put the pawn here, then white is going to be way better. But one move for white to get some advantage here. Yes. Queen to g4. Queen to g4, check. Black is going to move his king, and then what? That's an excellent move. But by the way, wh why do you need to play queen g4? Well, why did you play this? Okay, it's a check. Cool. But what else? What is, what is black threatening here? Black has a big threat in this position. What is it? Or the queen, right? And the bishop, it's not easy for the bishop to move because... No, but it's not easy to move because it's pinned, right? It's pinned to the queen right here over there. So queen g4 is a very good move, not, not because it's check, but because it's a forcing move that breaks the pin. And after the king moves, for example, what would be a good move here for white? I will let you finish everything. Can you tell me a good move for white? Yes? I think you're right. Uh, there's a knight. Why don't we just take? Right? That's what you wanted to say? Yeah, just take. Now, why, why is this check not working? But then we can take the queen. The knight will take the queen. So we have to see few moves ahead, take, and the queen is now protected. Very good. So we have to be careful when we are thinking about discovered. Now, I mentioned yesterday the most important discover check in chess. White is to play.
Yes. Bishop eight seven. Was this our move as well? Bishop eight seven. Discover check. And who is protecting the queen on d eight? No one. No one. I agree with that. And let's assume that this was the position for a second. I'm not going to give black another queen. That would be too many queens. Let's just say this was the position. And why to play? Bishop b5. Okay. Those discovered checks, they are so, so important. We, we, I wanted to say yesterday, but let's say last week. Seems like yesterday. We looked at position like this. And then there was a question. Let's say this was the position. And white is to play and white took. You see, nobody really blunders the queen so quickly. But it's much in much more smaller doses. For example, the question is, can black take on d4 or cannot? Cannot. Why cannot? This is our idea as well? Exactly. It's just one more step, right? We're going to get to the same, exactly same position. We know the pattern. It's just one or two more steps to get there. Capture, 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 check. and get our check. Let's say this is the position. And it is white to play. Excellent job. The bishop is threatening the king, and what are you going to win? Excellent. Now, let's see if we have this idea in our head. Let's see if we can do something tiny bit more difficult. Well, we will have the same position, pretty much the same. Oh, yes, please. You see, I was just looking and the answer showed up. That's the best way. All right. It is white to play here. Very similar idea, but no, we need to work a tiny bit more. Yes? Look to where? Last time I did it, you know, I did it like jumping bang on the microphone. Ben was laughing at me for entire two days about how the, he came up after the end of the show and the microphone was on the floor. So I'm not going to do it again, but my heart did it. Rook g4, and what is the pal's going to get to say? And what is this pawn? Today is he, is he jumping or he cannot take? <sighs> yes, what shall we play? And after king h8? This is someone that is thinking ahead. We know that we want to... Very nice. You solved the idea before, so the idea is in your head. So now what you're thinking is how to get to a similar pattern, right? Because chess is so much about patterns. If we know, like math, you know that, oh, you can solve this equation, but something is a bit more complicated. Well, you just want to get from one point to the other. You want to get to a point that you already know how to solve it. You don't need to go the entire way. 
just the way till you get there. So if the king is on this diagonal, we're going to have it discovered. So how do we get the king to the diagonal? We check him. The king enters this, this diagonal. And we win. Excellent job. Excellent job. Okay. White is to play. Yes. Knight to d2. Check. And winning the queen, right? Yeah. And also knight c5 is the same, right? I know that's what we want to say. Now I have a question. In this position, to where should we move the knight? Yes? Only D2, right? Why only D2? Perfect. Perfect. To C5. Perfect. So now, here is my real question to all of you. This was just a warm up. A warm up. How should white play in this position? How should white play in this position? Such a big surprise. Well, why not? Um, Rook c8. Black has one move. King h7. Then? What? King h7. Uh, you will play check. Black is going to move up with his king. Uh, oh, yeah. but, but it's the only move. And then I can do what? No, this is this exactly I want. I know that you know. I know that you know. Yeah. Actually, you know, it's quite funny. My idea was to play 92. We were in this position, right? We know the pattern. The king stepping on the diagonal, the knight goes back, checking the king, the Allows, look at how beautiful, the knight goes back, the bishop is checking the king, the knight attack the queen and defend. So this is one hard working horsey there, but that's correct. But actually, it's funny, because this is completely winning the game. But for example, when I thought about putting the position at the beginning, I thought about putting the pawn here. But then there is a better continuation. If someone can tell me what's the b is better continuation, you'll, you'll make an old chess dude happy. That would be me. So I want to see what, yes. Do you see a better continuation? Yeah. Really better? Oh, and then tell me. Um, King h7. Then knight f6, checkmate. Ah, that made me happy. I wasn't joking. Very good. And it also shows us something tiny bit. When we see a good move in chess, should we run, rush, and play it? Or should we know? Should we say what to ourselves? Maybe there is a better move. In this position, it doesn't 
make any difference. Knight f6 is checkmate. Knight d2 would win the queen, and then white would be with a rook and a knight up. 100% winning. But in some position, it will be a difference playing a good move or playing the best move. Very good. Knight f6 is very cool. I like those. It's a double check and a checkmate and knight g5 also, right? Excellent job. Excellent job. All righty. Well, one more puzzle. So let, let, let's look at this position. What shall we play here? Five. Yeah. What shall white play here? Yes? Um, you should move the knight um, so the bishop can get the, the king. But to where to move the knight? Where? Ooh, d3. Is this correct? The one in the back back. I agree. Perfect. Knight d3. Yeah. So, check. And take the queen. I have a question that's so important. Do you get anything just from a check? So check is nothing but a forcing tool. You don't get any bonuses for a check. For example, look at this position. Let's say we play this beautiful check. Did White get anything? No. OK, we're going to think carefully, slowly. And tell me, what should White be playing here? Why to play? Many hands, okay. Uh, yeah, you came, you shall answer. Yeah, yeah, no, no, the, you. Um, check. Did you get anything from this check? Not yet, right? Maybe you will. So what happens after bishop f3 check? Excuse me. Ah, uh, black will have to do what? Move is king. Yeah. And then what will you will play? Um. Black is going to move here. Black is going to move his king here because it's the only square that I see possible. Then what shall we play? Um. Um. Ooh. You see, you play the right move. Bishop f3 is the right move, but not with the right plan. <laughs> and I was just teaching in the class before and I said something. Moves are meaningless. Moves have one purpose. One purpose. Moves fulfill a plan. Right? You say, this is my plan. This is my way how to carry out this plan. That's what moves are. If you just, I play this, this. OK, what's the plan? Uh, no plan? So you want, you want maybe to see if you can fix it? I'll give you a chance. I'll be. So bishop f3, the king moves to b8. What then? Um, knight d3. You're safe. <laughs> OK, excellent job. This is why I put first the position. We remember this pattern. The king is going to be on that diagonal, and then knight d3 is going to be, well, just a very decent move. So bishop f3. King steps to b8, and knight to d3. But the check itself on f3, was, it, was there any point for the check on f3, if not for this discover check? No. 
Oh, wait. Oh, mighty. We will get something like this. Now all my thinking of sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. Okay, wake up. Okay, white is to play here. What shall we play? Yes? To move your pawn to e5. E5? And, then, and, and what are we getting from this beautiful check? Yeah, you check. Beautiful. What are we getting? I'll move the king somewhere. Nothing? Nothing. So if we said, I know, I should come every class and say 100 times, checks without a purpose are meaningless. You know, I was asking before, you told me, right, no new rules in chess. You know, 10 checks in a row, you get a pawn, 20 checks, you get two, nothing, right? So checks by themselves are meaningless. Checks is just a tool to force something. But other than that, they are meaningless. So which check here is going to get us something? Adi, in a guest star appearance. Yeah. We're gonna, which is a check. Discover check. check, which is apparently our topic today because of you last time. And now what is our idea after this check? Take the queen. Take the queen. This I understand. So I have a check and I'm going to get something from that. Said that. Okay. Now, what about this position? Ben, get me a pillow. Oh, man. Oh, man. Shouldn't have said that. Okay, let's do it. I don't know even which pieces to throw here. Just not too many pieces. Okay, Let, let's make it like this. Interesting. Up. That will be this. Okay. So white is to play here. So now, white is to play. Yes? The, uh, after you, there is a wall. And uh, actually, I do speak to the wall, but not now. OK. Pawn takes c4, but are you getting anything with pawn takes c4? Mm. I, I will move the queen. Let, let, let's say pawn takes e4. Black has one move to play. I'll play this move. Did you get anything? You, got, you won a pawn, maybe. But you have something so, 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 so much better. OK. Do you want to tell me? OK, so tell me. Rook a8 check. Rook a8 check. Which moves should black play? Consider to play. King a, at some point, king h7 will be played. Whether it is bishop d8, and then we're going to take it, and then king goes to h7. OK, and what will happen once he goes to h7? What then, then, then what? And then what? That's perfect. You see? Not so complicated to make an old chess coach happy. Just find two moves in a row that are perfect. Very, very good. So, discovered checks are quite serious. Okay, now, we will touch a topic, and then, actually not next week, because next week it will be Thanksgiving weekend, but two weeks from today, Adi, you or someone else that remembers have to be here to remind me that we are going to look at double checks. If not, I will forget. Here. We put in our head, double checks, double checks, double checks. Remind Ronan, double checks. Double checks? Double checks, double checks. OK, so what are double check? Double check is ex And why did I do that? I have also no idea. OK. Just to give Ben a tiny heart attack. All righty. What are double check? Yes. Two pi and basically, for a double check, does it ha is it some? S it has to be a discovered, right? Because basically, there is no other way for a double check to occur unless a piece moved, and then the piece that moved is threatening a check, and a piece that it was blocking threatening a check, right? There is no 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 other way for a check ever to occur. I will say, is this position possible? Yes. 
Is this position possible? What was the last move that was played in this position? Oh. It's, easy. it's easy. So what was the last move? That's perfect. If I tell you that this position, is this position possible? No. No, no yes. No. If, you, if it's possible, then just tell me what was the last move that was played here. Well, the rook is in check. The king is in check by the rook. Where did the queen go there? I don't see anywhere. But, but. Is this position possible? Yeah. What was the last move? Ari, to remind me, two weeks, right? It's a long time, so you have to answer it correctly. The pressure. Perfect, perfect. So double check has to be by definition discovered, attacking the queen, the king, and it is the most forcing move in chess. The most, 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 because if in check we can move, block, or capture, here we only have to move. Here, let's look at this funny position. And let's see how it all connects. White has two double check and two discovered attack. Which move is better here? Which move moves are better here? Okay, I want us to speak about all four of them. Sid, waving his hand, has to answer. So you tell me which move you will play here. <coughs> Bishop B7, but you have a double check. No double check, because double check means? I know, Sid, I know your answer is right. But Bishop C6 is beautiful, it's a double check. I know black has to move the king, but after black moved the king, what did white get? Nothing is perfect. Yeah. How, about, how about bishop C6, g6? I know it's a double check, but what did white get? Nothing. But what about bishop b7? The queen. And there is another way to get the queen. Another way. Yes? Exactly. Attacking the king and the queen. And that is going to be our topic, which is just continuation of discovered, attacking, to double check, which sometimes, sometimes you can combine them all. That's, then it's a really, really extremely powerful. For example, this position, best move for us now. Yes. That's our move. And actually, to be, to be also honest, also this move is strong enough. But bishop c6, look, it's a double check and winning the queen. So it's the most forcing um, possibly. But it always, always, always depends. A check is not necessarily good because, hey, it's a check. A double check is not necessarily good because, hey, it's double check. No, forcing the opponent is one thing. We can see. And, and know what his reply is going to be much more likely. If it's good for us, we can force it. Mm -hmm.